This is the Jocko Underground Podcast, number 84, sitting here with Echo Charles. And uh, there's a, I guess it's a little bit of a corporate buzzword you hear from time to time, change management. Hmm. So my initial foray into change management, someone asked me about it 10 years ago when I first was talking to companies about leadership and they asked me about what I had for change management and I immediately said, oh, well, change management. What we have for change management is the four laws of combat leadership. Cover, move, simple, prioritize, and execute, decentralized command. Mm -hmm. We talked through how these things apply to change management and how that's what it takes to, to manage change is leadership. Leadership is leadership. Whether you're implementing change, whether you're moving forward on a new project, what doesn't matter what you're doing, the leadership principles are the same. There's no, there's no separate and distinct methodology for change management. It's leadership. Mm. What do you do? You make sure you're mutually supporting each other. That's cover and move. You keep things simple so people understand what's happening with the change. You prioritize and execute. You figure out what are the most important parts of the change that you have to get done, and then you do those first, and you move through that prioritize and execute and decentralize command, which means you empower your subordinates. You make sure everyone understands why they're doing what they're doing. You make sure they understand why this change is happening. This is, not, this is what we do, and we've taken many companies now through all aspects of change management. Very effective. Now, I, I, the reason I'm think, I was thinking about this is because, again, someone asked me a question about it. I went through this, but then I started talk, talk, thinking about change in, in an even broader perspective because we are constantly, as human beings, doing change management in life, mm. right? Things are going to change, and they can, just like ch change management can trip up companies or jam up companies as you might like to say sure. just as change management can cause those kind of issues in a company change in life can trip people up can jam people up mm. and and I and what I think is look there's things are going to change we know that factually some things are going to change whether you want them to or not mm. they're going to change some things you can slow down from changing some things you can actually stop from changing. Some things you have to make the change. Some things you want to make them change. So even though we often categorize things, all these different types of change, we categorize them all as just change. But they're not the same. They're not the same at all. So treating change as if all change is the same is a big mistake, and I think a lot of people make this mistake. When you look at something in the world, does that thing want to change? Can it be changed? Do I need to change it? How much work will it take to change it? What's the ROI on that work that it's gonna take to change that thing? Do I have the time, resources, energy, investment, to make that change happen, and again, what am I gonna get out of it? So my point in saying this is that I think people get tripped up by change because they don't understand the nature of the change. So in some cases, they fight hard against changes that cannot be stopped or they expect changes to happen without any effort in areas of change where only effort and exertion will cause the change. And we have to be careful. You know, this is the kind of things, let me put it in a jujitsu perspective. You have to learn in jujitsu that there's certain positions at a certain point, you've given up, you've, you've lost the position and you need to move on. You need to transition to escape. You've already lost the position. You need to transition to escape. You also learn in jiu-jitsu there's some positions you have to hold on to as much as you possibly can. There's often times when it comes to change when we have a closed mind when it should be open. Oh, we have an open mind when it should be closed. And we accept things that should not be accepted. Oh, we don't accept things that should be accepted. So what I would like you to do is as you look at life, as you look at the world, recognize that there is different types of change. You can't treat it all the same. You have to be aware. 
in order to do that, yes, guess what you're gonna have to do? You're gonna have to detach. You're gonna have to take a step back. Maybe that means simple drill on detachment is writing things down. When there's change happening, you need to write down what is happening, why it's happening, what the outcome it could be. Whether it's good, whether it's bad. And I think if you start to assess the type of change that you are facing, it is an element that has to be dealt with, but it has to be dealt with in different ways for different occasions. And that's what I would recommend you learn and understand about change. And if you do that, you will be able to negotiate it better. That's what I've got. Why are you smiling? Because it makes sense. It's so true, bro. <laughs> and I dig it where, you know, like we have our little comfort zones and we've got our little routines that we really get used to. You know, I'm used to the world working like this for me and with me. And, you know, and even if the world's working against me, like I can, at least I can manage it because yeah. I know what to expect on that one. Yeah. And then like things start changing, you know, and it gets <laughs> uncomfortable. And yeah, the whole fighting thing is kind of like waves, right? Where mm, totally. bro, you, you, you're going to fight that wave. You can't fight. You literally cannot fight a wave. Nope. You can go under it. You can ride it, mm-hmm. bro. You can ride mm-hmm. shit out of a wave. You got to decide. You, you got to put yourself in the right position. You got to decide. It's going to be risky a little bit. Yeah. You know. But once you get good at riding waves in general, bro, you're kind of down for those waves. Yep. It's like a skill you can kind of, in a way, develop to accommodate the change, to ride the change that's inevitably coming. Yes. And yet, if you fight those waves. And your mindset is just to fight the waves, you're gonna lose. Yeah, drown. By the way, you're gonna drown. Yeah. And, and and that's a perspective thing. You're looking at those things going, I need to fight these things. When what reality is you need to open your mind and say, All right, I need to at least roll with them. And if I do really well with an open mind, I can ride these things. Yeah. And take advantage of these waves. Yeah. So yeah, jujitsu, surfing, combat, life, like there's some things that'll happen in, on the battlefield. Yeah. You can't stop it. And the more you try and stop it, the more you're giving up and the worse you're gonna be. Yeah. And there's other situations where ch- change, you need to enable it. You need to push it along. Yeah. But we just categorize it as like change management, that's what we're doing. Yeah. So no, that's why d- taking a step back and detaching and more technically in this situation, writing down what's happening and why it's happening and then, and then figuring out a way to work through it, that's my recommendation. Mm. That change management. There you go. Think about think about what's going on in your life, what's giving you trouble. Mm-hmm. It's probably some kind of change. And then analyze what kind of change it is. Analyze why it's why it's harming you, mm-hmm. why it's putting you in a bad situation. Figure that out. That's what we're doing. All right. Let's get to some QA. QA from Nako. Ah, Nako. Yeah. Uh Jaco, you see, what do you think of the statement? If you don't have any enemies in life, you have never stood up for anything. Winston Churchill. And you are not doing it right in life if you don't have enemies. Author unknown. I've applied your teachings and of trying to develop relationships with both good and bad leaders and or adversaries in my life. And I feel like I do not have enemies. That makes sense because Nako's super nice, yeah. by the way. And he's, and he's really good at implementing the principles that we talk about all the time. Yeah. Nako's in the, in the game, man. And, yeah. you know, if, for those of you who don't know, he's a law enforcement officer. He's been one for a long time. He started off in New York City. Now he's in LA. Uh, you know, he's been doing that job for a long time. And that is not a job where you make, where, where not making enemies is easy. Yeah. You know, you got the political side, you got the, the being out on the streets. Yeah. Like there's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. But, but, Okay, so yeah, that's Nako. And also real quick about Nako. He, uh, so there's this YouTube channel. I came across it on YouTube. But I'm not sure if it extends beyond that, but uh, it's called Soft, Soft White, White Underbelly. Underbelly. Did, yep. You, yep. did you watch his yep. thing? Bro, oh, yeah, watch yep. that one with Nako. Soft yeah, yeah, White yeah. Underbelly. I I I watched it, yeah. That is a good one. And yeah. you kind of find out about his job, his career, and yeah. who, who he is. Yeah, and, and you get to learn some messed up things, man. People get oh, their yeah. heads cut off. and yeah. like. That is a little excerpt of what we are doing on the Jocko Underground podcast. So if you want to continue to listen, go to jockounderground.com and subscribe. And we're doing this to mitigate our reliance on external platforms so we are not subject to their control. And we're doing it so we can give you more control, more interaction, 
more direct connections better communications with us strengthen this legion of troopers that are in the game with us so thank you it's jockounderground.com it costs eight dollars and 18 cents a month and if you can't afford to support us we can still support you just email assistance at jockounderground.com and we'll get you taken care of until then we will see you mobilized underground